A United Nations report says an estimated 23 percent of total land mass in China will be covered by forests by 2020 if the Asian giant implements ambitious goals spelled out in its ecological civilization blueprint. The report was launched on Thursday on the sidelines of the ongoing second edition of the United Nations Environment Assembly in Nairobi. The UNEP report analyzes the environmental dimension of China's 13th five-year plan, and concludes that Beijing is on course to attain ecological renewal. Chinese Minister of Environmental Protection Chen Jining and UNEP Executive Director Akim Steiner attended the launch of the report. It says, besides expanding forest cover, China is committed to reducing water and carbon footprints by adopting cleaner technologies in various sectors of the economy. Chinese government attaches great importance to ecological civilization. Environmental protection and resource conservation has been a basic national policy since the 18 CPC National Congress. Ecological civilization has been considerably accelerated in China, and the progress has been made. According to the report. China has pledged to reduce water and energy consumption by 23 and 15 percent to cut down on carbon emissions. Steiner lauded China's bold initiatives to accelerate the transition to a low-carbon economic development. UNEP and、uh, the People's Republic of China have a remarkably、uh, close and intense working relationship. We truly learn from one another, and we truly believe that what happens in China over the next decade. Will in part define also where our sustainability curve of change is likely to take us over the period to 2030. China's eco civilization building aims to limit consumption of fossil fuels in transport and manufacturing. The UNEP report says by 2014, China had built 10.5 billion square meter of energy saving buildings in urban areas. Between 2011 and 2015, China's production of energy-efficient vehicles increased 45-fold. China has also built the largest air quality monitoring network in the developing world. Steiner noted that China had set ambitious green goals that should be replicated in other parts of the world. It is when China chose to embark on a mass-scale expansion of renewable energy, building off its own energy transition need. That it created the economies of scale for renewable energy technology, that has allowed us to literally transform a world market where solar energy, wind technology today, are available sometimes at less than 60-70 percent of the cost.